Lundqvist is back, and as he showed in Winnipeg, his game is back as well. That's big as he and the Rangers point toward the playoffs. Marty St. Louis comes back tonight after missing eight games, bringing his energy, leadership, and scoring touch with him for the final six games of the season. Most of the parts are back in place for this playoff-bound team that's focused on clinching the division with one more win. Henrik Lundqvist and the Rangers go for it tonight. We are live in St. Paul, Minnesota for New York Rangers hockey. Tonight, the Rangers meet the Minnesota Wild. New York Rangers hockey on MSG is presented by Chase. Hello, everyone. Welcome to New York Rangers hockey. Sam Rosen along with Joe Micheletti and John Ginone. Boy, it's good to be back in Minnesota, Joe, right? Especially when it's not snowing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, it is. It's a sea family. And, and this game, you know, to think of this game, you've got Minnesota, the way they're playing, they play the same type of style as the Rangers. It's going to be fun. Absolutely. Great atmosphere for hockey. Both teams playing well. The Rangers on the brink of clinching the Metropolitan Division. Take a look at the Eastern Conference standings brought to you by Kia. Rangers at 103 points. They got help last night from the Philadelphia Flyers who knocked off Pittsburgh and a win tonight, and the Rangers clinch the division. You know, and it's important for the players, and the players talk about this, is that this is the next stepping stone. First was clinching the playoffs. Now you clinch the division, so you get some home ice to start. And then, you know, you work on the next thing, as Elaine Vigneault has continued to say, win the game, and then try and get as much home ice as possible. That's what they're doing. Rangers trying to get ready for the playoffs. The good news, Marty St. Louis returns to the lineup. Injured his knee two and a half weeks ago. He is raring to go yeah. tonight. I don't think it was a bad thing to give him a little bit of rest because he wants to play all the time. But to get a weapon back like him, and it's interesting where he's playing tonight. He's not going to be back with Derek Stepan where he's been most of the season, but he'll have young Kevin Hayes as a center iceman who's a left-handed shooter as opposed to Stepan who's a right-handed shooter and of course when Marty St. Louis at the top of his game he always finds the, the holes he finds room on the ice to do this type of thing he'll find those uh, those areas and he might just get the puck a little bit more with that left-handed shooting Hayes as his center one of the reasons he goes back with Hayes and Haglin is that a line that Elaine Vigneault put together in Winnipeg played so very well that was the all-american line Kreider on the left, Stefan in the middle, J.T. Miller on the right. There are GMC key players for tonight. Yeah, what a game they had too, Sam. J.T. Miller told us yesterday, he said, you know what, I love playing the right side because it gives him more options on what he can do with the puck. And before the game started, Derek Stepan took these two big wingers aside and said, listen, you guys skate, use your size, go in and go after them, and I'll be the third man high in the defensive zone all night. And that's what they did. Miller was so good at getting in there right away. And then Stepan defense. Defensively, we talked about it. He makes the play. Miller with the long pass. This is at the end of the game. What a move by Kreider to score the winner against Winnipeg. That line was dumb. Since the middle of January, the best team in the National Hockey League, the Minnesota Wild. They acquired a goaltender from Arizona, Devin Dubnik, and they have taken off. Our Land Rover scouting report features Dubnik in goal, but also their star up front in Zach Parisi. Yeah, this has really been quite the turnaround. This was a team that was hurt. They were getting very poor goaltending. They were way down. It was so negative around here. And then Dubnik comes along. 35th consecutive start tonight for the Wild. And now they're talking about him being a possible MVP of the league. That's how good he's been. He's turned everything around. He's given them new spirit. And he plays every game, and it's not an issue with him. And then you go to Zach Parisi. This is a young Minnesota team, and Zach Parisi is their leader. He's not the biggest. He's not the fastest. But when you talk work ethic, work ethic and heart, he's got those in spades. And again, another 30-goal season for Zach. And both of these teams are led by some young American-born defensemen on the on defense on the back line. Ryan Suter, nobody plays four minutes with the exception of Reed Dowdy in L.A. And for the Rangers, it's Ryan McDonough who will be looking to impress his family at home here tonight. We are back in St. Paul, Minnesota. It's Thursday Night Hockey, and Thursday Night Hockey is presented by Ram Trucks. 
Closed captioning is brought to you by the New York Lottery. Hey, you never know. And we check our Audi Gold Tending matchup, and there he is in his third game back. Henrik Lundqvist, and boy, was he sharp in the game against Winnipeg. Getting his 26th win of the season. Across the way, the man we talked about, Devin Dubnik, making his 35th consecutive start. The team 26-6-2 since he joined them, and his record 26-6-1, one, one no decision. And there is St. Paul-born Ryan McDonough with his family in attendance. Derek Stepan's family is here. He's from Hastings, Minnesota. Joe's family is here to see Joe work. <laughs> I don't know if that's why they're here, but it's good to see him nonetheless. Broussard, Nash, Zuccarello, Girardi, and McDonough open up for the Rangers. Minnesota's won five in a row. They're coming off a win over the LA Kings last Saturday, four to one. But they haven't played since Saturday, so we'll see if the Rangers can take advantage of that. Yeah, Mike Yo, the head coach from Minnesota, told us he's a little bit concerned with that. They've been playing so many games and playing at such a high level that sometimes you don't want many days off. Broussard moves across. Quick line change. Long shot to save. Miller and Kreider had come on. Mark Stahl and Dan Boyle have come on for the Rangers. Minnesota in the number one wild card spot in the Western Conference, but not far behind Chicago. Stefan broke his stick trying to shoot. Miller's in the corner, has control of the puck. The lineups coming in at the top of your screen brought to you by Infinity. Luxury cars that deliver inspired performance. Here's Miller right back in. Stefan to the net, pass was blocked by Brodine. Jonas Brodine on defense. Miller's pass deflected, and the Wild able to come out. Zach Parisi, long cross ice speed to Jason Pominville, playing it off the end boards. And back forward was Hayes, sending it around. Marco Scandella with a shot kicked away by Lundquist. On behind the net, Hayes is there, trying to move it. It was blocked. Stahl is there. Pominville looking for it. Miller, long shift for him. Pass in front, Parisi. Save! A beautiful save by Lundquist as he stopped Zach Parisi. That long shift for Kreider also, Sam, but Kreider reacted to that pass and came back and put enough pressure on Zach Parisi to force him to go to his backhand. Good work by Minnesota. There it is, Aaron. Coming back was Kreider, and Parisi tries to beat Lundquist on the backhand side. Good first save by Henrik Lundqvist. So a little mixing and matching. Marty St. Louis never made it on the ice. Hayes was on. Marty St. Louis is on here with Dominic Moore taking the face off in the defensive zone. Got to get him a shift, get him into the game, That's right? right? Aglin, St. Louis, and Moore on for the Rangers. Face off against Charlie Coyle, Rangers control. Yandel to Hunwick. Matt Hunwick fires ahead, tipped by Haglund into the Minnesota zone. Back for Jordan Leopold, who was acquired from Columbus at the trade deadline because his daughter sent a letter and said, please trade my dad to Minnesota. Ranger score! A deflection in front. Looks like Dominic Moore on that mix and match line it is. scores the goal. Yeah, it was a real good play by Haglin to keep the puck in the in the zone right at the blue line. Haglin kept it in and then just turned and fired it in the redirection. The Rangers are off to a good start in the offensive zone. And then there's the play. Haglin keeps it in. Dominic Moore just goes to the front of the net. Here's the redirection. Good play by Moore to get away from the defender. What a play, Scandella was there, and Moore just slides away from him, gets his stick in the open, and redirects it in, and the Rangers with an excellent start. He had gone 14 games without a goal. Dominic Moore played here in Minnesota, briefly. So the Rangers take the early lead. And pardon me, Sam, that, that was not Scandella, that was uh, Matt Dumba, the defenseman. Okay. My mistake there. So the Rangers got off to a good start. 
Now, Mike Yo, the head coach, told us this morning, he said, I'm just, we need to get to our game as early as we yeah. possibly can. Again, he was concerned with these days off. They had two full days where they did not practice, didn't go on the ice, practiced yesterday, had a morning skate this morning, and the Rangers have been just a half a step ahead of Minnesota to start this game. 2.09, the time of the goal. Puck deflected out of play. More from Hagelin, and the Rangers have the early lead. So both these teams, a lot of similarities. Both teams are good first period teams. Both teams are good third period teams. Yeah. And stylistically, Sam, they play a lot the same too. They like to get the puck and skate and go and play that north-south style and not slow the game down. Broussard, Zuccarello, and Nash back on. Girardi with a block on the shoot-in. Girardi and McDonough on defense. This line that's been out, that's out there now for Minnesota has been real, real good. Mm -hmm. Chris Stewart, who was acquired before the trade deadline for a second round pick. He's on. He's number 44. The captain, Miko Koivu, number nine, is in the middle. Nino Niederreiter, one time first round draft pick of the Islanders, having a career season with 24 goals. Rangers move it in. Zuccarello after it. Rodine, number 25, on defense. Rodin with a puck, playing it up the boards. Rangers take it back. Ryder to Dan Boyle for the shot. Saved by Dubnik, and he covers up. Well, uh, Lane Vigneault has his team off to a real good start, not just on the, the early score, but the way they have come out with a lot of jump to this game. I think, Sam, with Lane Vigneault and his preparation for the last game against Winnipeg and how they played, they seem to kind of get that get that team game back together, you know? And right. I think they felt good about this, and I'm sure he just said, all right, now we're back doing with the things that we're supposed to do. Let's let's continue forward. And as we talked at the top, they want to win the division tonight. Uh, winning the division would assure them home ice advantage in the first two rounds of the playoffs. Winning the conference would be three rounds, and of course the President's Trophy would be home ice advantage throughout the playoffs as long as they could go. And let's face it, if you're going to win a Stanley Cup, you have to win on the road in the playoffs. Yep. Plain and simple. But it's those, I think, those those games, those uh -oh. game sevens at home. Stepan got knocked down. It looked like he was in a battle with Scandella, but Stepan got up. He's okay, stays on the ice. Randlin moves the puck. It's stopped by Mark Stahl. Rangers have had a lot of offensive zone time. They've done a good job. Haglund. Bumped along the boards by Granlund, Mikhail Granlund from Finland. Uh, he was a player that Minnesota missed early in the season because of injury. He was out. Commonville was stopped by Stahl. Rangers come right back. Kevin Hayes moves in. San Luis to the net. That looked like a shot pass from Hayes for San Luis. He wanted San Luis to get an early one in his first game back. Takeaway by Thomas Bannock. Bannock number 26, Minnesota's offside. 4.29 gone by here in the first period. Yeah, Marco Scandella is one of the real good young defensemen on this team, number six. And there you see him. It, it was almost uh, one of those plays where it's more of a collision as mm -hmm. opposed to Scandella trying to hit him, even though Stepan didn't have the puck. And I think the referees saw it as that and made the right no call. Here's the Rangers' fourth line on the ice with Jesper Fast moving down to play with Moore and Tanner Glass. James Shepard is a healthy scratch for the Rangers. Rangers still without Kevin Klein, but they hope to have him back before the end of the season. They're hopeful that he, he can get in one game at least at the end of the season, which is a week from Saturday. Rangers will finish up an afternoon game in Washington. Lundqvist covers up with a glove stopping play. That would really be important to, to, to get Kevin Klein back. He's such an important player on this team with his versatility, with his ability to defend, his ability to kill penalties. He can play against top players. He's found a little bit more offense to his game this year. I mean, his overall package this season has, has been superb. Played in deep. I think the middle of next week, Joe, it'll be four four weeks since he was hit with that shot by Ovechkin. That shot got through. Lundqvist makes a save. Played up the boards. Hey, hold it, hold it, hold it. 
Behind the net, one push went out to try and get it. Brodziak tried to knock it away. Here's a deflection in front. Ryan Carter, number 18, the former devil, who's always given the Rangers trouble on the, he's on the ice. Along with Kyle Brodziak, number 21. And Schrader, number 10. Schrader takes the puck away from McDonough, fires back for Suter, but it comes all the way back into the Minnesota zone. Ryan Suter, only one player plays more ice time than him, and that's Reed Dowdy of L.A. And that, excuse me, that's Drew Dowdy of L.A. by four seconds, an average of four seconds per game. Well, 21 times this season he's played over 30 minutes. Played up the boards. Boyle pinching in to tie up Niederreiter. Koivu went down. Stepan tried to take the puck back. Koivu dumps it in. And Stahl goes to get it. Niederreiter on him. Niederreiter leads the Wild in hits. For Stewart. And Stahl takes over. Six and a half minutes gone by. Miller moves it across to Dan Boyle. Rangers with a 1-0 lead on the early goal by Dominic Moore. Marty St. Louis. And the clear out is intercepted by Haglin. Right back to Hayes. Around the boards. Stopped by Dubnik. In deep, Girardi to Hayes. Back to Dan Girardi. A wrister wide of the net. Off the boards. Commonville. And Leopold fires it up, stopped, blocked by Girardi in center. Hayes sends it in. Rangers have done a good job of stopping Minnesota from getting anything going offensively. Coyle got a pass through, Vanek winds it around. Thomas Vanek with a 20-goal season. Ten consecutive 20-goal seasons for Thomas Vanek. Yeah, he didn't have a very good first half of the season, but since the All-Star break, He's been one of the leading scorers. He's been very good. And Sam, you talk about the Rangers slowing things down. Yesterday in practice, Minnesota worked a lot on just trying to get through the neutral zone and making plays. And they haven't been able to do much of that here in this first period against the Rangers. Nash battles Suter, the puck behind the net. Rodin swings it around for Vanek. And Zuccarello able to stop it at the red line. Back into the Minnesota zone. Boy, another play. They just keep breaking things up. Charlie Coyle was blocked there by Broussard. Minnesota's a fast team. They just haven't looked at it no. yet. Spurgeon. He's a smallish defenseman at 5'9", 175, but moves the puck well. Yeah, he's a good player. Rangers were on him right away, and again, the Rangers take it back and right back into the Minnesota zone. Dubnik stops it. Uses the glass. Ryan Carter tied up with Dan Boyle. Boyle with a good play to get it to Miller. In front for Stepan, it was blocked. Kreider takes over. His pass blocked by Spurgeon, and out to Ryan Carter. And again, Yandel with a block. Rangers, excellent job in the neutral zone. Step on with a shot. Save Dubnik. Rebound clear to side. Yandel takes it back. His shot went off a skate. And out comes Schrader, who dumps it in. Yandel back for it. 9-20 gone by. First period. Rangers a 1-0 lead. Up the boards for Haglin. Try to lead St. Louis. St. Louis pulls up. Works it deep. Koivu and Hayes go for it. Taken away by Haglund. Leaves it for St. Louis. Trying to get it to Haglund. Broken up by Niederreiter. Shot by McDonough. Was blocked in front by Matt Dumba. In the Rangers zone. Girardi pressured there by Niederreiter. Koivu. Haglund able to move it to Hayes. Little too far for St. Louis. Not many stoppages here. Ten minutes gone by in the first. Leopold for Granlund. Granlund moves in against Girardi and shoots save. Made by Lundquist. Granlund 
Plays it back just off the bench. Brodeen across to Suter. Suter a wrister that's blocked in front. McDonough blocked that. Parisi winds it behind the net. Played out by Pominville to Suter. Back to Pominville. Jason Pominville sends it deep. Parisi was tied up and taken down. The fans reacted. It was Parisi and Ryan McDonough that got tied up. Fost with a steal, brings it in, his shot blocked. And the puck cleared out to center, Pominville. Rangers right on the Minnesota player with a puck. Not giving them any time and space. Boyle, good pass. Broussard with a shot, that's blocked by Leopold. And brought out by Fontaine. Justin Fontaine moves in. Dan Boyle on him, double teamed by Zuccarello. Played it to Broussard and out. Race for the puck. Nash against Scandella. Nash takes it away, but his shot deflected out of play. 8.49 to go. First period. Good pace to the game. Rangers score early. Dominic Moore is the man. Back, they sold John Giannone's spot between the benches. John's behind Devin Dubnik right now. John. I do. I have the Dubnik guy view. Also, the guys who are obviously cleaning off the ice. What I've seen so far gets to what JT Miller talked about in the pregame with me, guys, where he said if we could prevent them from getting out of the zone, that'll really slow down their speed game. Five times already, Ranger defensemen Girardi, Stahl, Boyle have held that puck, not surrendered the blue line. That's been important so far. Hey, we have Marty San Luis coming up between periods. Can't wait to talk to him about how he feels so far. Send your questions on Twitter. Use the hashtag NYR. We've got Anson Carter and Ron Duguay in studio as well, guys. Thanks, John. We'll look forward to that. And we'll check in with John throughout the game. Rangers cleared out quickly. Now you just see that save that Lundqvist made there. You can kind of tell he's on top of his game. Hard rising shot. He makes sure he not only made the save with his blocker, but put it all the way out to the boards away from everybody. Rangers then able to easily get out of their zone. This will be an icing, mm. I think. No. No. He waved it off. Why? I don't know. That one I didn't understand. Yandel fired it in from the Rangers side of the red line. Eight minutes remaining in the first period. Ramlin's feed. Sent in deep by Pominville. Back behind the net. Boyle trying to move it. Pominville's pass deflected to the side of the net and covered up by Henrik Lundqvist. Next Thursday on MSG, see what happens when Henrik Lundqvist hangs out with New York's bravest. The FDNY on an all-new episode of The Mask with Henrik Lundqvist presented by Visa next Thursday night at 10.30 after Rangers hockey on MSG. Yeah, and those that, shows have been great. Yeah, and that's the Mario Batali mask that he's wearing tonight. Okay. I'm hungry already. The McEnroe mask did him well the other night. Yeah. For those of you who did not hear it during the pregame show, Dustin Bufflin of the Winnipeg Jets was suspended for four games for that violent and vicious cross-check on J.T. Miller. Unfortunate part for the Rangers is J.T. Miller was not injured, but uh, Dustin Bufflin is out for four games. And Winnipeg has only five games remaining in the season. That could cost them the playoffs, Sam. It really could. He's such an important player yeah. on that team. Zach Parisi with a puck. Shot gets through, and Ludquist able to pick it up and make the save. 7.14 to go. First period in Minnesota. Rangers a 1-0 lead. You buy Frost Brood, Coors Light. How about this? Rangers, 10 wins in February, 10 wins in March, 10 or more wins in consecutive months for the first time in franchise history. Yeah, you look at that record, it gives you an idea how good Minnesota has been, yeah. right? I mean, the Rangers, are, they played great hockey, and Minnesota's got a better record since the middle of January, as you mentioned, Sam. Well, Minnesota, with it, they were struggling just around 500 in the middle of January, and they acquired Devin Dubnik for a third-round draft pick from Arizona, and they have taken off. And Devin Dubnik telling us this morning that he gives a lot of credit to the people in Arizona, oh, starting yeah. with Don Maloney, right. Coach Dave Tippett, 
Sean Burke, his goalie coach, for restoring his confidence, putting a lot of confidence in him, and getting him back on his game. Yandel shot, Dubnik got a piece of that. And the way he's played in Minnesota is rubbed off on the team. Mike Yo was saying that this morning. Well, first of all, you start with Sean Burke, who is a disciple of Benoit Lara. So they got him to change the way he played. He told me, he says, I stay on my feet more. I get over a little bit quicker so that the shot, I'm ready for the shot. I'm in position. And, uh, and that's changed. Now he's got his confidence. Yep. And that confidence is rubbed off on his team. Puck deflected out of play. 6-11 to go here in the first. Now the Rangers have scored the only goal on a deflection. And this one, Dubnik just gets a piece of it with his right arm. Right through, maybe it was the left side of him. Well, Jerome just got a piece of the jersey and deflected, got enough of it to deflect it wide. That's the other thing he said, and his talks with our good buddy Steve Valaket has really helped him as well come mm. out, be a little bit more aggressive, take more of the angles away, and and use his size in a in a better manner than he had before. Steve Valaket. They still, they're still in contact yeah. with one another. They spent a lot of time this past summer together. And then he goes off and gets Sean Burke. And that whole process of changing that has been quite the transformation. I mean, people have to know, this guy's had talent. He was a first-round draft pick, right. 14th overall by Edmonton back in 2004. But he's never been a winning goaltender in the league. Yeah. And now, he, all of a sudden, he's exploded with a huge season. Around the board, Stahl takes a hit there from Charlie Coyle. Hayes chips it ahead for Haglund. St. Louis goes left. Haglund carries in, three on two. Haglund's got it deep. Pass blocked and a whistle. Penalty against Minnesota, I believe. Rangers have a power play coming up. Justin Fontaine goes to the penalty box. Power play of the night goes to the New York Rangers. That's Justin Fontaine in the penalty box. Here's why. Gets a stick up high on Kevin Hayes. High sticking against Fontaine. And the number one penalty killing team in the league led by that man right there, the head coach, Mike Yo, against the Rangers power play that's been a little bit better lately. The power play presented by Volkswagen. Rangers scoring a power play goal in Winnipeg. One for three in that game. Over the last six games, they're now two for 11. There's McDonough moving, looking. McDonough to Brassard. McDonough and Yandel, Brassard, Zuccarello, and Nash. Nash fires. He scores! Rick Nash! It's a power play goal! Two nothing, Rangers. Yeah, he surprised Dubnik. Dubnik thought that Nash was going to make a pass across because the defenseman, Keith Yando, was sliding down and instead fired at the goal on the inside. Here's McDonough again. When Nash sees it, he looks one way and instead you could see Dubnik just coming off the post because Yando was coming down the weak side. There's Yando on the far side. Nash instead fires it at the goaltender and do he fools Dubnik off Dubnik and in. And the Rangers with the 2-0 lead. Rick Nash with his 41st goal of the season, only his sixth power play goal. It's the one thing that separates Nash and Ovechkin, who have gone at it for the league lead in goals scored most of the season. It's that Ovechkin yeah. scores on the power play. Sure does. But that was a great goal for Rick Nash. Well, the Rangers have a 2-0 lead. Again, the Rangers do a good job controlling the puck and waiting to set up the play instead of just shooting it. McDonough starts it at the point, and then Nash, and you see on the right side of your screen, that was Yandel that was coming down, and I think Dubnik just comes off that post just a little bit, and Nash banks it off him and in for the 2-0 lead. He is all by himself in second place in goal scored in the lead. Had been tied with Steven Stamkos at 40. Nash with his 41st. Ovechkin leads the league with 50. And the Rangers scoring two early on. Devin Dubnik, who uh, hasn't given up more than two goals in a game very often. Yeah, no, he's not only winning games for them, but his number, goals against, save percentage, all of that sparkling. Hayes. 
St. Louis pass tipped and taken out by Chris Stewart. Yandel is back. Nash getting the goal is 41st from Broussard and McDonough at 14:37. A power play goal. Yandel's got the puck. 4:35 to go here in this first period. St. Louis fires a hard pass for Hayes. It was tipped away. Lifted over the top of the net. Played by San Luis up to Boyle. Off his stick out of the zone. Boyle was tied up by Niederreiter and San Luis came back to help out. A good start to the game for the Rangers. Joe mentioned the Minnesota penalty killing. Outstanding. Since, since the All-Star break, have only given up five power play goals. Yeah, and again, a, a big reason for that is the goaltending, of course. Commonville against Stahl. Jesper Foss tied up. Stahl is there. The puck pops loose. Stahl trying to move it. Dominic Moore falling down, able to get it ahead to Tanner Glass. And the Wild have it back. Matt Dumba's pass. Here's Zach Parisi against Moore. Boy, what a good play by Dominic Moore. He found him at the blue line, or just outside the blue line, and stayed with Zach Parisi all the way to the boards behind the net. Bobmanville giving it back to Leopold and across. Boyle tips it into the Rangers zone. Matt Hunwick against Justin Fontaine. Zuccarello is there. They've done a double team. And Broussard able to get it out of the zone. Just under three minutes to go here in the first period. Broussard waits. Pass for Hunwick. Hunwick takes it deep, deflected by Spurgeon. And Coyle's got it up yep. ahead for Jared Spurgeon. Yeah, the Rangers have kept this crowd quiet, haven't they, yes, Sam? It's been a loud, so. loud crowd here in Minnesota for the last few months. Vanek deflected across. Koivu winds it for Fontaine. He's checked there by Kreider. And a penalty called. Kreider with kind of a body block on Justin Fontaine took him down. And Minnesota will get a power play. Now behind the night, the behind the net for Kreider. Fontaine actually made a good little move, quick move. And let's see the, where the stick is. Here's Fontaine. Goes the other way. Oh yeah, you the leg. Yeah, Kreider stuck out his leg and tripped him down. He gets beaten on the play. Watch the right leg. He reaches out with the right leg. Tried to make it to do that subtly, and that did not work as the referee was in good position. So. 2.20 left in the first period and a power play for Minnesota. And this is one area they have struggled with all season yeah. is their power play. They come into this game 28th in the league. Last 10 games, they've been better. They've scored six power play goals in the last 10 games. So there have been signs of life, especially with players like Vanek and Parisi and Nita Ryder. Now Mike Yo was saying, the head coach telling, him, telling us, we need to just do things quicker on our power play. Mm. Shooter with a shot, got through, glove save. Lundquist, a good job. Parisi right there, looking for a deflection. Yeah, and Vanek as well. And Vanek has got some of the best hands in the National Hockey League. Very good at deflecting shots. So, good smart play by Suter to get the puck near those two players. Rangers with Dominic Moore, Carl Hagelin, Dan Girardi. And Mark Stahl on the ice. Face-off win for Minnesota. Suter to Koivu. Parisi, four forwards, one defenseman for the power play. Koivu the shot, save, and a good job by Lundqvist. Made the save and popped in the air, and he gloved it quickly. Uh, I'm not so sure Lundqvist didn't think he was going to make a pass there, and Koivu switched up at the last second. He had a player coming in from the other side. Yeah, see Lundqvist come off that post a little bit. Koibel was looking one way and fired the shot. Yes, he had, he had Lundqvist fooled a little bit. And Lundqvist made a good adjustment to make the save. Stepan wins the drawback. Stepan and Nash on with McDonough and Girardi. Up the boards. And the linesman uh, 
picked off Ryan Suter, and allowing the puck to go all the way down. Minute 45 to go in the first period. Minute 25 to go in the Minnesota power play. Rangers with a 2-0 lead. Off the stick of Parisi. Girardi's pass blocked by Parisi. Fired around by McDonough and stopped by Pominville. Pass across through to Ryan Suter. He shoots, save Lundqvist. Rebound, save Lundqvist. And cleared into the corner by Nash. And fired out by McDonough. Boy, that second save was a beauty. Lundqvist had to make a good save on the low shot by Suter, but his positioning was real good for the second attempt. Drop back to Granlund. Minnesota showing some life with a couple of good chances, but the Rangers take the puck away. Lundqvist with a couple of great saves. Under a minute to go in the period. 35 seconds to go in the wild power play. That's the Minnesota wild. Jared Spurgeon dropped it back, but Kyle Granlund brings it in. Pass by Stewart, broken up by Moore. Spurgeon has it back. Up ahead, pass Stewart. Lundquist plays it to McDonough, and he clears it. Good, quick, confident plays by the Rangers. And the power play is over. Four shots on goal for Minnesota on that power play. But Lundquist with a couple of beautiful saves. Final seconds of the first period. Laid down the boards by Scandella to Chris Stewart. Five seconds to go in the period. Stewart turns, blocked by Girardi. Stewart again, pass back, fanned on by Niederreiter. That's the period. And the Rangers, who had only six shots on goal in the period, but made them count. Dominic Moore with the first goal, and then Rick Nash with a power play goal. Yeah, now the, sh the shots not, were not indicative of who controlled the period. The Rangers controlled the period by getting the puck in deep, forechecking when they could, by breaking up plays in the neutral zone. Minnesota's best effort and best chances came in the last couple of minutes on the power play. Outstanding first period for the Rangers on the road. They lead it two to nothing. Coming up, the Delta Intermission Report. John Giannone rejoins us. His special guest, Martin San Louis, back in the studio in New York. Bill Pito has the MSG 150. Anson Carter and Ron Duguay with highlights and analysis all coming up on the Delta Intermission Report. Rangers, one of the best, the best, Road team in the NHL with 25 road wins. Get off to a good start with a 2-0 lead. Come here to St. Paul. You got to go see the Herb Brooks statue. It takes you right into the arena. The great coach. We are getting set for the second period. Rangers and Minnesota Wild. Thursday night hockey is presented by Ram Trucks. Joe, Rangers broke up a lot of plays by the Minnesota Wild yeah. in that first period. You know, Sam, we talked about Minnesota being a fast team. They didn't look like it in the first period, and it was because of what the Rangers did. This was a period that the Rangers controlled the pace of this period. Every time Minnesota tried to make plays in the neutral zone, the Rangers stood up. They had their sticks in the right position. They had support from the forwards coming back. That allows defensemen like you know, Yandel right there to stand up and make the play. Look at Again, the sticks in the right position, and for Elaine Vigneault, uh, and this was a period where they slowed down this Minnesota team. They controlled the pace of the play. I would expect, Sam, Minnesota to have a little bit more jump here in the second period. Just to find their game yeah, after I the think four so. days off? I think so. Yeah. And I'm sure that's something that they discussed. Hey, there's Brad Stepan, Derek's dad. And they've got a, a lot of family in attendance tonight. Want to say a quick hello to Gerard Byrne back in Pearl River, New York, undergoing some chemotherapy as he's battling cancer. A big hello to Gerard, big Ranger fan. His son, Sean, is here at the game. Traveled all the way from New York. Yeah. Went to Winnipeg, came down here to came Minnesota. Down here, and uh, we wish his dad a speedy recovery. Absolutely. And a big Ranger fan for many, many years. Rangers make a quick change and bring on Stepan Kreider and Miller with Stahl and Boyle. Suter sends it in. 
Lundquist, sharp in that first period. Stahl tried to move it, was blocked, gets it back. Pass was blocked by Niederreiter. Stewart checked by Stepan. Rangers take it away. Ryder out for Miller. Jonas Brodeen. Try to get it to Niederreiter. That was a good play by Dan Boyle anticipating the pass. Offside. Whistle on the Rangers. Saturday night on MSG. Rangers are back home to take on their Cross River rivals, the New Jersey Devils. It all begins at 6.30 with Visa Rangers game night with Al Kravig. And then it's the Rangers and Devils Saturday night on MSG. And I may have mixed up the, the promos a little bit. Want to renew your true blue to Rangers Town, your residence in Rangers Town. That's coming up as well. Hayes for San Luis, back to Girardi. Takes the shot club save by Dubnik. Boy, good save. Ryan McDonough had moved in to in front of the net. So Girardi looked up after getting the drop pass from St. Louis, looked up, saw McDonough there, put the shot near his stick, and McDonough just missed. There's the play again. St. Louis, now he puts it back. There's Ryan McDonough, and who just misses the redirection. Good save by Devin Dubnik. Broussard, Nash, and Zuccarello on. Parisi moves it. That was outside the zone. Nash tried to keep it in. An offside whistle against the Rangers. Rick so, Nash, who's scored on that power play in the first period, is, and we talked about it the other night, Joe. His all-around game has been outstanding. Yeah, all, all season long. Spurgeon for Scandella. Early second period. Rangers with a 2-0 lead. Hayes on Parisi. Zach Parisi, who has hit the 30-goal mark. He had 29 last season. Had some injuries last season that cost him about 13 games. And he played hurt for many, many others. Granlin pass went through Commonville. Scandella shot blocked. And out comes Marty San Luis. Drops it back for Kevin Hayes. Trying to get it to San Luis. was blocked. And the other way, Zach Parisi. Keith Yandel is there. And deep is Scandella, the defenseman. Here's Commonville. Behind the net, Charlie Coyle. Yandel. Excuse me, Hayes wrapped him up. Yandel moves the puck. And San Luis clears it out. Thomas Vanek. Now Fontaine pass across. Shot by Leopold. Save. Hard touch shot. And a good reaction by Henrik Lundqvist as he picked it up at the last moment. Dominic Moore comes out. Off the boards for Tanner Glass. Now Moore. Who scored the first goal of the game? Hunwick chipped out by Fontaine. And a good play by Jesper Fast coming back. That's the defensive pressure that the Ranger forwards back in about November, mid November, they started putting on and playing that style where the forwards come back hard to help out defensively. Real good play by Fast. In the Rangers zone, that's an icing on the Minnesota Wild. 3-11 gone by here in the second period. Rangers have only seven shots on goal in the game, indicative of the strong defensive play by Minnesota. But the Rangers with the two-goal lead. Yeah, there's Zach Parisi. So when they acquired Devin Dubnik and he came to the he came to the Wild, Zach Parisi said, I've got a house that I've got for sale. You go live in that one. And he says, well, how much, how much rent are you going to charge me, and how long can I stay there? He says, I'm taking it off the market. You stay there as long as you want. That's, that's Zach Parisi, isn't it? Pretty nice thing. I'd say. That's very nice. That pass out of the zone, and the race for the puck, Ryan Carter after Dan Boyle. Boyle with a good job. Zach Parisi, as I mentioned, 30 goals, only the fourth player in uh, Minnesota Wild history, which began back in 2000. I think Marion Gabrick's up there someplace, isn't he? Yes, <laughs> he's done it many times. <laughs> well, only the fourth player 
to score 30 goals or more for the Wild. Brian Ralston and Jason Pominville, along with Marion Gabrick. He was the all-time leader in goals scored for the Wild. Battle in the corner. Poked loose. Koivu's pass back. Saved by Lundqvist. Covers the rebound. Spurgeon with a good shot from the point that got through, and Lundqvist has really been picking up the puck oh, well. Yeah, he's really been sharp. Good work by Minnesota in the corner. Left side of your screen. They do a good job, and eventually Spurgeon makes a real good move. Spurgeon's on the boards. He goes hard to the middle to get the pass. And they got plenty on the shot, and Lundqvist was in real good position to make the save. Found the loose puck and gets the face off. Step on against Koivu. Wild win it. Spurgeon moving and shooting, and that's blocked in front. Didn't get through. Big battle, Niederreiter and McDonough. Scandella back to Spurgeon. Spurgeon again. This time he shoots high off the glass. Miller's got it. Fires it out. And racing forward, Stepan negates the icing. Gets to it. Stepan with a back pass. Miller the shot, a save by Dubnik. Nice play, Stepan finding Miller in stride. Yeah, Miller puts himself in a position. Derek Stepan, of course, with the vision, and he's able to get down in a hurry. Spurgeon was right on top of him. Long pass from Miller, first. And then a lot of that work is done by Stepan. Miller put, come, hustles all the way back down the ice to put himself in a position to get the shot, and Stepan found it. Derek Stepan. Seven points over the last six games. Off the boards, chipped ahead. Pominville gets there against Stahl. Stahl stays with him. Now Parisi gets the shot off. Stick saved by Lundquist. Fired across. Played deep by Brodeen, but it deflects off the glass up into the netting and play stops. Rangers subscribers, renew your residency in Rangerstown. Renew your blue and secure your 2015-2016 season tickets by Tuesday, April 14th. You can pay online by visiting nyrsubcentral.com. Granlund and Moore for the faceoff. Nearly five minutes into the second period. McDonough gets to it. Now Girardi. Up the boards and out of the zone all the way down. And Dubnik had to stop it. Jordan Leopold. For Pominville. Granlin. Barisi goes to the net. Moving in is Dumbo with a shot and it deflects in. Making the play. I thought it hit Parisi. We'll, we'll take a look at this. And Matt Dumba, one of the young players that's been up and down from the minors, has been a staple. And Dumba is the top of your screen. He'll just follow it in right there, has it. He'll throw it in front. It hits something and deflects past Lundquist. I thought it was Parisi. We'll see. McDonough was there as well. Somehow that slides in. Let's see if it doesn't hit Parisi. No, it's somebody on the other side. It was either Pominville, uh, maybe Pominville, either a skate or a stick. He went hard to the night. Matt Dumbo has been a good young player for this wild team. Throws it in front, and Minnesota cuts the lead in half. And they may review this uh, for some reason. We get a referee on the headset. Unless they thought maybe it was a skate. We'll take a take. A look up in Toronto and let's see what Pominville does here. That redirects. It hits his left skate, but it didn't seem to be a distinct kicking motion. No. You can turn your skate and redirect the puck. And if it goes into the net with that type of motion, they count it. And a quick review. Dan O'Halloran was the referee on the headset. And it goes in off Jason Pominville, his 17th of the season. 
Dumba with an assist at 524. So big goal for the Wild as they cut into the Rangers lead. Stall back for it. Fontaine on him. Nash try to move it. Coyle got a piece. Now Minnesota playing that game where they are quick on the man yeah. with the puck. They look a little faster in this period. Boyle moves it to Nash. Nash sends it in. Off the stick of Devin Dubnik. Out for Fontaine, and Yandel broke it up. Now the fans getting into it with a let's go wild chant. Lundquist. Out to play it. 6.15 gone by. Lundqvist fell down behind the net. I don't know if he was involved with one of the players. He was with Fontaine. Fontaine. In deep set on off the post. Back the other way and breaking in. Stewart, he missed. High with a shot. Big chance as Stewart was hanging back. Spurgeon shot is wild. I think Stewart came off the bench. Fontaine was late. Saved by Lundqvist. On that good shot by Niederreiter. Bouncing puck brought in by Miller. His centering pass was broken up by Niederreiter. Miller has it back. McDonough to Miller. To Stepan. Ryder trying to get some space in front. That's broken up and cleared out by Niederreiter. McDonough has it back. Tipped ahead by Kreider. Hayes after it. Played by Spurgeon. Stopped by Haglund, and it deflects out. And Girardi tipped ahead by Miller in the Minnesota zone. McDonough's shot partially blocked away by Spurgeon. Here's Haglund behind the net. Spurgeon on him. Now Scandella picks him up. Girardi to McDonough. A wrister deflected, a save by Dubnik. And those aren't boos up from the crowd. Those are Dubnik. Dubes. Ranger fans chant for Zook. And Minnesota fans chant for Dubes. Haglin. Now Hayes. Ooh. That's a penalty against the yeah. Rangers. Haglin tripped up Spurgeon. The late penalty on the Rangers. Scandella moves across. Rangers touch up. Power play for Minnesota coming up on the tripping call. Haglin will go, 8.06 is the time. Rangers are leading 2-1. to one. Watch over here. You'll see Fontaine. He'll come in to, to forecheck on the play, and you'll see a collision he has with Lundqvist. Tries to get out of the way, so two Rangers go over there. Now, as they're going after him, Fontaine's going to go to the bench. Chris Stewart jumps on right now. All the Rangers are up. Chris Stewart stays back. That's why he ends up with the ah. puck in this opportunity and just goes over the net. And then down the other end, Haglin gets pushed from behind and then gets his stick on Spurgeon. Power play, Minnesota. Second power play of the game for the Wild. They had four shots on goal on the first one. Nash, Stepan, McDonough, and Girardi, the Rangers penalty killers. Rangers seventh in the league in penalty killing. Pass comes all the way through. Pominville. Fires broken up by Girardi in front. The pass intended for Parisi. Step on the other way with Nash. Step on drags and shoots wide. Back the other way, Pominville. Feet of Parisi. McDonough checks him. Played deep by Vanek. Now Parisi. Out to Suter. And a cross shot by Pominville. Blocked by Girardi and he's down hurt. And there's a penalty call. Looks like an interference call. I guess Thomas Vanek, I believe, in front on McDonough. What a block by Girardi. Girardi anticipated the shot coming. He didn't realize that as soon as Minnesota touched the puck, the whistle was going to go. Vanek right in front of the net. Right there, he knocks down Ger or McDonough. And then Girardi came up with the block. Joe. We, we have to talk more about Dan Girardi the other night. What a night. Ten blocks, Ten blocks in the game in Minnesota. Five hits. He was unbelievable. He was fantastic in that game. And there he was blocking that hard shot. Right now going to the bench. And he is something. 
Now, four on four, and provided there are no other penalties, in a minute 12, Rangers will get a 48-second power play. Two to one Rangers, 11 minutes to go, second period. Take away by Grandland, and the lead for Niederreiter. Nice job by Stahl to get back and block the play. Grandland, out to Matt Dumba, down low for Niederreiter. That was stopped by Zuccarello. Zuccarello on with Broussard, and a whistle for an offside on Minnesota. Boy, what a good play. We talk about Girardi. Dave Maloney and I talked on the pregame show about the Rangers group of defensemen. How about this defensive play? Stahl gets back, stick in the right position, doesn't hold on to Niederreiter. He just gets his body positioned so that Niederreiter can't go anyplace. Niederreiter actually made a good play to try and spin around, and Stahl just simply stayed with him. Moore and Coyle for the faceoff. Moore is on with St. Louis, Yandel, and Girardi on this four-on-four -four situation. In 40 seconds, Rangers will go on the power play. Brodine to Stewart. Stewart takes it back. Jonas Brodine moves in. Now Charlie Coyle. Brodine deflected by Girardi. Dumba able to keep it in for Minnesota. Now Stewart. Girardi in front of him. Nice coverage by Girardi. Brodine blocked by San Luis. Here's Moore. Was looking for San Luis. Brings it across. Yandel to San Luis. Pass blocked. Taken away by Brodine. Rangers on the power play. They scored on their first one. And it's Rangers power play presented by Volkswagen. Fontaine, the penalty killer. Boyle trying to take it away. 30 seconds to go on the man advantage. Scandella blocked by Zuccarello. Zuccarello tried to lead Nash, but he was run into by Scandella. Fontaine puts it in the Ranger zone. Lundquist plays it away from Brodziak. And Rangers unable to get anything going on this Short power play, the lead for Nash off his stick. Fires for Zuccarello, hit the outside of the net. And the power play is over. Boy, that almost was a bang, bang play for a goal. Well, Nash, when he lost control of it on the long pass, turned and looked first before he got to the puck and knew Zuccarello was there. Another penalty coming up on Minnesota, saved by Dubik. 8.47 to go in the second period. Rangers come off a short power play. Now they get a full power play. Box for Minnesota. Prior to that, four on four hockey. You want to see perfect four on four? Stop it right there, and everybody, everybody's covered. Everybody's covered. The Rangers end up making the defensive play, and I'm going to clear this as soon as my fingers start working. <laughs> and uh, they do, and the Rangers turn that into a power play. Zuccarello with the puck. Brodziak is right there. Gets a stick up high Ooh. on top of the head with the stick. And the Rangers with a power play chance. A chance to regain their two goal lead. Rangers third power play. McDonough, Yandel, Stepan, San Luis, and Kreider for the power play. Pass for Stepan, tipped away by Fontaine. Rangers one for two on the power play in the game. High sticking 11-13. Rodziak taking the penalty. Kreider in front. McDonough looking. Step on to Yandel. To McDonough. Look for a deflection from San Luis. Didn't get it cleanly. It's out of the zone. San Luis back for it. Off the boards to step on. Now Yandel. Minute 20 to go on the power play. Drop back to McDonough. Here comes step on. Whacked that by Parisi. Whacked that by Suter. Buck around the boards. Yandel steps up against Ryan Carter. Carter trying to clear. Got help from Brodine. McDonough back for the puck. Under a minute to go on the power play. 7.40 to go in the second. Rangers leading 2-1. Lead to Broussard. Broussard, Zuccarello, and Nash on. 
McDonough's still on. Yandel's still on. Nash comes over, pokes it up the boards. McDonough to Yandel with room. Fires to Broussard off his stick. Zuccarello after it. Zuccarello gets it to Nash. Now it's Yandel with a wrist shot. Tip wide. Zuccarello tracks it down around the Broussard. 18 seconds in the power play. Broussard. McDonough. Saved by Dubnik. Rebound Zuccarello. It's a pass off a skate. Shot by Yandel. Blocked and cleared by Granlin. Boy, what a play by Granlin. That puck hit him up high. Beautiful puck movement by the Rangers. They wasted no time finding the open man and a big time block there by Granlin. McDonough was on for the full two minutes of that power play, which is over now. Rangers had one shot on goal on the power play. Two to one Rangers, six and a half minutes to go. Second period. Rangers one for three on the power play in the game. Niederreiter fell down. Stahl looking to move the puck. Fires up ahead. And the race for the puck. No icing. Hayes hustled down. Suter thought he was ahead of him, but no icing. He was ahead of him on the other side, but Hayes went to where the puck was going to end up. That's what caused that play. Stewart put it in front. Boyle able to move it. Hayes waits, gets it to stall. Now JT Miller. Miller stopped by Dumba. Back the other way for Stewart. Stewart moves in on Dan Boyle. Leaves it for Dumba. Looks toward the net. Feeds Koivu. Hard pass goes through. Out to Leopold. Deflected just wide by Zach Parisi. Dumba puts it in front. Stall intercepts. Fires it out. Five and a half minutes to go in the second. In comes Parisi. He shoots past Dan Boyle who's he used as a screen, a good glove save by Lundquist. 5.24 to go in the second, Rangers leading. Trivia question for the night, Devin Dubnik making his 35th consecutive start with the Wild. Who was the last Rangers goalie to start at least 35 straight games? Wow. Good, good question. One. Man, man. Right here, Rangers with a two to one lead. Commonville and Moore for the face off. On the scoreboard, Detroit leading Boston one nothing as Detroit's trying to hold off Boston yes. for third place yes, in the are. Atlantic Division. Yeah. Calgary's playing a big game at St. Louis. They trail there two to one. Yeah. Florida with a four nothing lead on Carolina. Yaramir Yager has another goal in that one for Florida. World Heavyweight Champion Vladimir Klitschko returns to the Mecca of Boxing. Madison Square Garden, Saturday, April 25th, defending his heavyweight titles against undefeated top-rated American challenger Ryan Jennings from Philadelphia. The World Heavyweight Championship, Saturday, April 25th. For tickets, visit thegarden.com. Klitschko hasn't fought in the U.S. for several years. Should be a big fight at the Garden. Here's the man we talked about, Dan Girardi. He is just a rock on defense for the Rangers. Wild control the face off. Suter with a pass to Granlund. And Brodine brings it in. McDonough's there. Parisi turns fake. Shoot, save Lundquist. Nice play on the rebound. Jesper Faust right there. Moore gets to it before Granlund, but Brodine comes back to tie him up. Granlund hit by Tanner Glass. Ryan Suter. They've done on him. They played together as a pair during the Olympics. Faust for Moore. That pass was blocked. And Girardi takes over. There's Kreider. Way behind the net. Nice play by Miller. Matt Dumba tying him up. Miller keeps moving. Double team by Suter. Hunwick with a good play. Ooh, Miller got clipped. Yep. Penalty call. 
And hit in the head with a stick. Yeah. High sticking the call. That was Suter. All right, Miller, Miller has been so quick on the puck and on the mat. He just, he just frustrates the players he plays against because he doesn't give up on the play. And he's cut on the bridge he of is. the nose, so that should be a four-minute penalty. Look at He's got to argue his, his point. Let's see if they give him four, but here he is. Quick in behind the net. Doesn't give up. That's Dumba that's chasing him. Keeps the feet going. Stays with the play. Gets more help. Puts himself back in the position. And then there's the high stick by Suter. And it is a four-minute penalty with 4.08 to go here in the second period. You know, Sam, you think of the young players on this team and how they have moved up and improved over the course of the season yep. to become important parts of this team now. Uh, Miller was a bit player, right, the first half of the season. Up and down and not playing much and a few minutes here and there. Just think how he's learned. Miller and Hayes. Very important. McDonough out to St. Louis. McDonough, Yandel, St. Louis, Stepan, and Kreider for the power play. Rangers one for three on the power play in the game. Yandel. Now McDonough with some room. Fires through Kreider, a save by Dudnik. Pass in front, broken up by Scandella. Well, that went through a couple of players. St. Louis was there. Kreider was in front. There was a Minnesota defenseman in front. And Dubnik watched it all the way and made the save. Yandel playing it back. Fired ahead by McDonough. Clearing a 10th block by St. Louis. Pass back taken away by Brodziak. Kyle Brodziak skates it clear and sends it down the ice. Lundquist. Backhands it to McDonough. Taps it over to Yandel. Ahead. Zuccarello just on. Pass deflected. Brodziak with a good play. Boyle. Stopped by Brodziak. Excellent work by Kyle Brodziak. Rangers have made some changes. Dan Boyle has come on. Zuccarello tips it ahead. Turns into an icing on the Rangers. And then Parisi knocked down Zuccarello. Zuccarello didn't like it. So he had a few words for Zach Parisi, but the Rangers get called for icing. 2.39 to go in the power play. Time for the Rangers. 2.46 to go in the second period. Rangers with a 2-1 lead. Face-off win by Granlund. Deflected into the corner. Played by Parisi, shorthanded. Now Granlund toward the net, but wide. Nash is there, and he skates it out. Lost control. Broussard takes over. Broussard, Nash, and Zuccarello. Boyle and Girardi. Here's Zuccarello. Makes his way down the boards. Out to Girardi for the shot. Save for the blocker by Dubnik. Pass Nash to Broussard. Boyle, Broussard, Nash set up in front. Rangers have had two shots on goal on the power play. Take away by Fontaine. Two on one, he moves in. Pass to Koivu. And a save by Lundqvist. The rebound went wide. Fontaine didn't get it cleanly. Back the other way, Zuccarello. And he gave it up to Leopold. Stopped by Zuccarello at the red line. A minute 35 to go on the Rangers power play time. Hard around the board. Stopped by Zuccarello. In deep. Rodin. Yandel keeps it in. And it's poked out by Koivu. Yandel and McDonough back on. Yandel moves in. Around the boards for St. Louis. In front. Stopped by Rodin. Stepan, Kreider, and St. Louis back on. That's tip. McDonough chips it ahead for Stepan. Around the boards to St. Louis. Out to Yandel. Long shot. Tip wide. Played by Stepan. One minute to go in the period. 50 seconds to go in the power play. Shot blocked. And out of play. Rangers are claiming the Wild put it directly into the crowd. And the... Officials are huddling up. Rangers are hoping for another power play yeah, here. The Rangers reacted immediately. They thought it was clearly 
over the glass on a, on a puck that was up in the air. Hard to deflect those ones that are already up in the air, and I think that's the argument by the Rangers as they take a look at this. Oh, that is, that's a penalty. He short hopped it, it hit the ice, came about a foot off the ice, and the backhand goes up and over the glass. That's the right call. That is yeah, the they're correct. they're pointing to the penalty box. That's the correct call. That was clear on the replay. So the Rangers will have a two-man advantage for 48 seconds here. Nico Koivu, the captain, doesn't like the call, but if he sees the replay, he will say, yeah, that's the right call. A big, they, big chance for the Rangers. You know, they don't miss many. That little short hop and then off the stick of the wild player and over. So the Rangers need to take advantage of this in this last minute of the second period. 50 seconds to go in the period. McDonough to Yandel. Steps up. Fakes. Down low. Step on. He holds it. Yandel fell down. Gets back up. Takes the pass. Feed step on. To McDonough for the shot. Save the rebound. Chipped up in the air. Nash to Broussard. And one of the Bronziaks without a stick. His stick is broken. Here's Broussard. Rangers spread it out. Down low. Nash. Gets it to Broussard. 20 seconds in the period. The shot blocked by Brodziak. McDonough tried to keep it in. Stepan's got it. 10 seconds in the period. Here's Nash. Now Yandel. Feet to Broussard. Shot blocked. Out of the penalty box. It's a five on four. Shooter came back on. The period ends. The fans cheer the penalty killing effort of the Wild. The Rangers will have 105 left on the power play into the third period. And as the teams head off, it's a two to one Rangers lead. And a standing ovation by the Minnesota fans with the effort on the penalty killer was excellent. Brodziak without a stick. He blocks one there, tries to clear it with his glove. He can't. The Rangers keep it in. They go back to work. They'll have one more opportunity. And that'll be another block. Scandella with that block. Excellent penalty killing by Minnesota to end the period. Coming up, it's the New York Lottery Intermission Report. John Gino rejoins us. Dominic Moore is his special guest. Back in the studio in New York, Bill Pito has the Audi MSG 150. Anson Carter and Ron Duguay have highlights and analysis all coming up on the New York Lottery Intermission Report. Good game by two outstanding teams. Rangers had a 2-0 lead. The Wild scored on that goal off the skate of Jason Hominville. End of two. Rangers lead it. 2-1. to one. All Minnesota getting set for the third period. Rangers in Minnesota Wild. Thursday night hockey is presented by Ram Trucks. Teams making their way back onto the ice. Rangers will start the third period on the power play with a minute five remaining. And we get the coaches update on things from our man, John Gino. John. Yes, yeah, Sammy, I talked to assistant coach Old Samuelson. He said a lot of the parts of our game have been very good. He said, but I want to make sure in the third period that we check with our legs. He said, what is it, 5-2 in penalties right now in favor of us? Minnesota's taken five. He said, we don't want to make sure we give the refs any excuses to give us a penalty. We also want to get back to a shooting mentality here as well. We got away from that a little bit, especially on this early power play. We want to make sure it could give us some momentum. What to expect from Minnesota in the third? He said, obviously, you're leaning towards some aggressive decisions when you're losing. On their goal, I thought we backed off a little too much and gave them an unnecessary chance. He said, I want to make sure we're solid at our lines, defensive lines, neutral zone lines, make sure we come back with five guys at all times. Good Thank stuff. you, John. Yeah, good stuff. This is a Minnesota team that's won five in a row. They want to keep their streak going. They haven't clinched a playoff spot yet. There's a lot to play for on their side. For sure. And over the last 18 games, they've scored more third period goals than any team in the league. So, beware. And they've been good on face-offs in this game. They control and shoot it down. Rangers with a man advantage to start the period. Yandel and McDonough 
Broussard, Zuccarello, and Nash up front. Pass intended for Broussard. Rangers get there. Good play. Yandel, Nash, quick shot save. And went off of Dubnik. They surprised him with the shot. Nash drops it off for Broussard. Try to get it back to him. Taken away by Scandella. Clearing attempt. Good play. Yandel. Broussard to McDonough. To Broussard. The shot deflected off the defenseman. And Dubnik stopped Yandel's rebound. 15 seconds to go on the power play. Rangers change. McDonough carries up. Stefan San Luis and Kreider have come on. Yandel pass through for San Luis. Takes it deep. Feeds McDonough. Now Yandel. Power play is over. Pass for McDonough. And it comes out. Pushed ahead to Koivu. Moves in with Niederreiter. Save on Ryan Carter. As Koivu dropped it back to Carter on the three on two. What a save. Minnesota makes the play just inside their own blue line. McDonough can't control it out of the box. And now even strength. And what a save this is. Look at Lundquist. Has to play the first shot. And then just makes one small move to his left. To be put, in, to put himself in the position to make the save on Carter. Beautiful save. And it's 17 in. Face-off win for Koivu. Shot by Suter. Deflects wide. Stewart goes for it. Now Niederreiter checked and shoved down by Dan Boyle. Niederreiter's got the puck. Boyle trying to pry it loose. Stahl is there and he gets it away. Stahl up ahead. Stopped by Suter. Toward the front. Went through Niederreiter. Niederreiter checked by Stahl again. Stewart. Step on on him. Now Koivu tried backhand in front. Good play by Boyle. Boyle got a piece of it. Koivu keeps it alive. Pass Niederreiter. Pressure here by Minnesota. Step on was hit by Niederreiter. Niederreiter's got it. Tried to put it in front. It was blocked. Rangers doing a good job around the net. Preventing those passes from behind the net. Dumped in by Kreider. And the Rangers change. Strong start to the period for Minnesota. Suter, 2.20 gone by in the third. Pass across, broken up by Haglin. Haglin, that pass through to Hayes, who shoots, save by Dubnik. Long rebound brought out by Pominville. Pominville stood up by Girardi. Suter moves it ahead. Matt Hunwick. Pass intended for San Luis becomes an icing. Check out the upcoming schedule brought to you by Lexus, the official luxury vehicle of the New York Rangers. Saturday night, Rangers at home on MSG against the New Jersey Devils, 7 p.m. start. Monday at home against the Columbus Blue Jackets, hottest team in the NHL right now, 7 p.m. on MSG. Tuesday night at New Jersey, 7 p.m. on MSG. Hope you'll join us. Face-off win by Coyle. Shot by Dumbas. Big save with the right pad by Lundquist. San Luis off the boards to Haglund. Hayes goes to the net. Saved by Dubnik on the Haglund shot. Here's Charlie Coyle for Minnesota. Now it's Thomas Vanek. Open man, Fontaine. And he stick handled too deep and couldn't get a good shot. He oh. was waiting for Lundquist to give him something. Waited and waited and Lundquist stayed with him. Had to scramble at the end, but by that time, Fontaine ran out of uh, out of room. First real good chance by Minnesota came off the faceoff. They win the faceoff. This, I thought, was almost deflected on the way in. It was. Got deflected. Lundquist kicked out the pad, and there, there it was. Fontaine ran out of room. He tried to make a couple of moves in hopes that Lundquist would give in, and he didn't. The Wild have dominated faceoffs in this game by a two to one margin. This time the Rangers able to control around the boards, Haglund. That was blocked, Haglund tried to move it again, blocked in, Yandel off the boards, that's knocked down by Granlin. Parisi, open man, Scandella shot it wide. Whoa, didn't miss by much. Uh, Lundquist was ready to head that puck, but it was too high even for that. 
A keep in by Granlin. Minnesota really putting on some pressure. Moore sends it down the ice. Scandella goes back for it. Moore on him. Moore and Nash, the Rangers goal scorers. Pominville for Minnesota. Off the corner boards. Lundquist out to play it around the glass. Blocked by Ryan Suter. Stopped by Girardi in front. Help from Mark Stahl who lifts it out. A little over four minutes gone by. Third period. Rangers leading two to one. On the scoreboard, Washington has a 4-3 lead on Montreal. Ovechkin, two more. Two more. Yes. 52. Wow. And he is the all-time franchise leader for the Washington Caps. Past Peter Bondra. Peter Bondra, right? Yes. I was thinking maybe even <laughs> Dennis Marouk, but Peter Bondra. Dennis Marouk was here at the game tonight, by is the way. Is that right? He is. 61 goal scorer right. for Washington. Right. Wow. Kiwi Marouk. He was a tough little player. Sure was. Niederreier got hurt, by the way. He's making his way to the bench, yeah. one hand on the stick. Oh, boy. Suter tried to shoot the puck in, and he hit Niederreiter with the shoot in. Five minutes gone by in the third. The puck pass. Dubnik Miller is there. Around for Stepan. Suter intercepted. Up the boards. All the way down. Race for the puck. Hudwick, can he beat Schrader? They say he did. The linesman says icing on Minnesota. Fans don't like the call. No, he had him by a half a step. There's Niederreiter on the bench. Yeah, Niederreiter took that shot. I thought it got him in the arm or the hand. Suter, I believe, was... Attempting the shoot-in. Girardi will lose it there. There it is there. And it catches yeah, left hand, it looked like, on Suter's attempt to get the puck in the Ranger zone. Miller, step on and Kreider for the Rangers. Out comes Schrader who dumps it in. Lundquist covers it up. Stops play. Ryan Carter bearing down on him. Don't forget to cast your vote for the 2015 Stephen McDonald Extra Effort Award presented by Lenox Hill Hospital before April 3rd. That's tomorrow. Vote today at NewYorkRangers.com. You know, Sam, as we've talked about, it's hard to keep your eye off the scoreboard. Boston, three third-period goals now lead Detroit 3-2. Wow. Wow, wow. Detroit playing without Pavel Datsuk. Shot by Dumba. Lundquist got a piece of that. Boston wins. They would go ahead of Detroit. They would be even in points, but they'd be ahead on the tiebreaker for third place in the Atlantic Division. And Detroit would become the wild card team. Scrambling to stay in it. Florida is going to get a couple more points. They're trying to into uh, trying to stay in it. And Ottawa, what's Ottawa doing? Ottawa is 1-1 late in the third with Tampa. Man. Some great races going on. Stall with a good play, moves it up. Rangers trying to win and clinch the Metropolitan Division. Boyle drops it off. Vanek, that was a pass for Fontaine, but a misconnection. Dumbas in deep. Fontaine, a coil save. Rebound. Lundqvist stopped it again. Shot by Dumba. Wide. Rebound score. Lundqvist never recovered. And the Wild have tied it. Sam Lundquist ended up stepping on his stick, which he had lost. And when he did that, he went down to the ice. And the long rebound, he wasn't able to recover. He makes an excellent save coming up first. Right there, good save, scrambles around, can't get a hold of the puck. Now he doesn't have a stick. And there you see him trip on the stick as he gets back up to put himself in position. His right skate steps on the stick, and there is Thomas Vanek. And Vanek has been outstanding since the All-Star game, and he ties it. The Minnesota Wild have come back 5.53, the time of the goal. Vanek getting his 21st. The Wild have come out real strong, and they've dominated the first six minutes of this period. Zuccarello for Nash. Off the boards for Brassard. Girardi finds Zuccarello. Zuccarello pass between the legs is blocked. Chipped out by Spurgeon. Hominville gets it to Parisi. Moves in against McDonough. Pokes at it. 
Double teamed, and then it's gloved at the side of the net by Lundquist. 6.35 gone by, third period. The Minnesota Wild able to come back to tie it on a goal by Thomas Vanek. We talked about the third period for Minnesota, Sam. They get one here. They are off to a good start. Here's that sequence again. Lundquist could save. He tries to reach the puck, knocks it away, and as he gets up, he drops his stick, watch the right skate, oop, there, loses his balance, goes forward, and he just can't recover, and there's Thomas Vanek. So good around the front of the net, and Vanek with his 21st for the season. Game tied, 2-2. Boston wins, 3-2 in Detroit. So they have moved up as they continue their push, their strong push. To make the playoffs. Nice play by Kreider. Kreider races down. Dumba boots over to check him. Kreider around the net. Fires it back to McDonough. A deflection score! JT Miller! And the Rangers regain the lead as Ryan McDonough gets his second point of the game, setting up JT Miller with a beautiful. Shot pass. Yeah, this starts with speed. Here comes Kreider, right side of your screen. Kreider's got all that speed. Dumba does a good job, so Kreider goes around the net. And then you want to see patience by McDonough. Gets it, waits, waits, waits. Head up all the way. He let the Minnesota player go past him and then shoots it by him on the other side. And Miller gets enough of it to deflect it past Dubnik. And the Rangers with a one goal lead. And the local boy does good. Boy, what a play by McDonough. <laughs> Head up all the way. His family's here. He is from St. Paul. Coyle, nice pass. Save, Lundquist. Big rebound. Cleared aside by Moore. Made the save on Fontaine. Scandella to Fontaine. Towards the net, a deflection, a save. Vanek with a deflection up high. That's been a good line. Fontaine has been excellent in this game yes. with his speed. And Vanek, as we've talked about, so dangerous around the front of the net. Giveaway to Tanner Glass. That's batted out by Spurgeon. So the Rangers quieted the crowd for a moment. Then the Wild came right back with two good scoring chances. Boyle up ahead for Haglund. Haglund shoots wide. 740 gone by third period and we've had plenty of action here in the third the outlet from Boyle to St. Louis St. Louis dumps it down the boards for Haglund Haglund against Ryan Suter puck moved up quickly stopped by Boyle picked up and brought out by Pominville Pominville with Parisi back for Pominville Lundquist plays it around the boards Pominville to Parisi. For Pominville, a save as he was checked partially by Mark Stahl. And so they didn't get all of that shot. The outlet to Hayes. Hayes dumps it in. St. Louis was offside. Rangers have to touch up, and they do. They change lines. And the Wild move up. Good play by Hunwick at the line. That's an offside on Minnesota. 8.36 gone by here in the third. Now the Rangers score a deflection to take the lead, and then Minnesota comes right back in this deflection. What a save coming up by Lundqvist. Deflection, Lundqvist is in good position, makes a save with the right pad. There's the shot again, or pardon me, maybe the blocker. We'll keep that one out of the net. The go-ahead goal, JT Miller with his 10th from McDonough and Kreider at 6.48. McDonough with two assists in the game. Puck around the boards, out of the zone. Scandella. Gets it back from Spurgeon, feeds Spurgeon up ahead, tip into the zone, cleared out nicely by Broussard. JT Miller is starting to become a factor in every game he plays. That's great to see. And he's been moved around to different lines, yeah. Joe. He loves just playing the right side. He thinks he's more effective there. Missed by Fontaine. Carter trying to tee up a shot. Cleared away by Kreider. Dangerous moment for the Rangers. Pressure by Minnesota. On the forecheck, Rangers able to clear it out. Coming down to the midway point, third period. Here's 
Schrader. Fired up the boards by Stepan. Knocked down. Kept in by Schrader. Stepan is there again. Able to lift it out. Down the ice it goes. Kreider racing for it. Negates the icing. Good speed. Good hustle by Chris Kreider. We are at the midway point of the third period. Ten minutes to go. Rangers leading 3-2. Play back to Matt Dumba. Off the boards for Stewart. And now Koivu. Jordan Leopold with a drive into the midsection. Lundqvist dives on top and stops play. Hard shot by Jordan Leopold. 9.43 to go. Third period. Rangers were tied, and then J.T. Miller broke the tie. John's third goal replay, Joe. Yeah, it's a beauty. Right off the faceoff, Chris Kreider all the way down the ice, around the net, finds McDonough. McDonough a little delay, head up all the way. Perfect shot to be deflected. And then Miller with the finish through the legs of Dubnik. And that's the 3-2 go-ahead goal for the Rangers. The day after the Rangers score three or more goals, get 50% off your regular menu-priced online order at PapaJohns.com with promo code RANGERS3. Available at participating Papa John's locations. Ottawa wins in overtime. Wow. They'll stay in it. Hang in, the, in there that Ottawa will be at MSG Thursday night, a week from tonight. Rangers and Senators, last regular season home game for the Rangers. Have to tell the fans, Joe is getting help with his analysis tonight. His great nephew, Isaac, right. is in the booth. He's got the wrong jersey on, but yeah. you know what, though? We still like having him here. <laughs> He's a hockey man. <laughs> Nine minutes to go, third period. Stall going back on him, Fontaine. Stall oh, with a play. good play. Beautiful play. He's got it out of the zone. Haglund picks it up. Winds it deep around the glass. St. Louis to Haglund. Fires across. Haglund missed it as he tried to keep it in. Eight and a half minutes to go in the third. Boyle to Stall. J.T. Miller with three goals, four assists, seven points in the last eight games. Chris Kreider has seven points in his last seven games. The contributions the Rangers are getting up and down the line. Granlund toward the net, stick saved by Lundqvist. Surprising shot from Granlund. Boyle. He, he still had time to deflect it up high, away from everybody. Tanner Glass with a shot stopped by Dubnik, who holds it Saturday night. Rangers back home to meet the Devils. Always a good one. That'll be at Madison Square Garden. We're on the air at 6.30 p.m. with Visa Rangers game night with Al Troutwig. 7 p.m. Rangers and the Devils at the Garden. Want to wish all our Jewish viewers a happy Passover. Passover begins tomorrow night. All our Christian viewers... Tomorrow, Good Friday, and Sunday, we wish you a happy Easter. Saved by Dubnik, the rebound still loose, and it trickled by the net. Granlin. Pass across, Parisi, through for Pominville. Back for Parisi, but McDonough had him check. Up the boards, Ryan Suter. Behind the net, Granlin. Knocked away by Zuccarello, Granlin again. McDonough checks in. Gandal helps out. Zuccarello got it to Broussard. And Broussard gets it out of the zone. Nash missed it. And the Wild take over 7.20 to go. Rangers leading 3-2. to two. Dino Niederreiter, he's okay after he was hurt earlier. Hit with a shot from his own man. Lundquist didn't see him coming. Almost had the puck stolen away. Need a rider in deep against Stahl. Chris Stewart checked by Girardi. Stewart around the net. And Girardi picked him up. Dumba knocked down one of the Rangers and took the puck away. Rangers able to recover and clear out. 6.45 to go in the third. Dumba back for it. 
Picks up speed. Dipped the head. Dan Boyle comes over. Stopped by Fontaine. Poked ahead and brought out by Haglund. Kevin Hayes going for it. Dumba's there. Able to move it to Leopold. The right, Rangers are making smart plays. If there's no play in the neutral zone, everything's going in deep. Haglund off of Hayes. San Luis with a good play. Hayes chases it down. Against Leopold. Good job by Hayes protecting the puck. San Luis fell down. Coil with the intercept. Outlets to Vanek. Vanek pass goes by Fontaine. Back behind the net. Coyle pokes it to Vanek. Vanek tried to get it to Fontaine. He was tied up by Hunwick. And it's cleared out by Haglund with 5.45 to go in the third. Takeaway by Moore. Moore backhander saved Dubnik. Out to McDonough for a shot. Saved by Dubnik and he's got it. Couple of good shots by the Rangers. Dubnik with the save. Rangers with the lead with 5.35 to go in the third. Evan Dubnik making his 35th start for the Wild. Who is the last Rangers goalie to start at least 35 straight games? Our Cadillac trivia question, Mike Richter. Okay. I give it a shot. Let's see. Eddie Jockerman. That was my next choice. 38 consecutive starts, 66-67. Wow. That's a long time ago. The great Hall of Famer, Eddie Jockerman. Parisi tips it ahead. Lundquist leaves it for stall, looks around, controls the puck. A let's go wild chant up from the crowd. Over 19,000 here in the building. 19,280, I believe, is the official count. Brodine almost lost it. Good pressure from Nash. Now Parisi. Stall it turns into an icing on Minnesota. 5.03 to go. Stay tuned after the game. We've got complete post-game coverage coming your way on Mercedes-Benz Rangers post-game back in the studio. Bill Pito will anchor with Anson Carter and Ron Duguay. We'll hear from head coach Elaine Vigneault. John Chinone will be in the locker room talking to the players for their reaction. Analysis here. From Joe McColetti and Dave Maloney, stay tuned for Mercedes-Benz Rangers postgame right after the game. McDonough off the boards. Outside. Offside. 4.57 to go. It's been a great hockey game, hasn't it, oh, Sam? I mean, this wow. has just been tremendous. These two teams have played so hard. Mike Yo, you know, he kind of anticipated his team, you know, a little afraid his team might not get off to a yeah. great start. They didn't. But they, they came out in the second period much stronger, much quicker. They played well here in the third period, as have the Rangers. And Joe, you know, we've, we're there and for every game we watch this. Rangers have turned into an outstanding road team. 25 wins, leads the league, best road record. And if they hold on to win this, it would be a franchise record for road wins. It's, a, it's amazing how... They just are so poised on the road, and now these young players, and again, that goes back to coaching, Sam. Nita Ryder shot it wide. Suter, long shot by Koivu, missed wide. Girardi bangs it off the board, stopped in center by Suter. Suter got it to Chris Stewart, Rangers broke it up, Girardi clearing it. And Dumba going back, it's whistled down for an icing on the Rangers with 4.03 to go in the third. And Rangers looking a little tired at the bench, so we may see a Rangers timeout here. Yeah, I think so. I think Elaine Vigneault will wait as long as he possibly can. He'll wait and wait and wait. Let's see whether he decides to use it. It doesn't look like he's going no, to use maybe it. maybe not. He wants JT Miller to take the face off. So, no, they won't use the timeout. Miller and Coyle for the faceoff. And Miller wanted back. But take away by Fontaine. He shot blocked by Girardi. That's a rare giveaway by Girardi, but then a nice block. 
Fontaine with a keep in and it's cleared out by Kreider. Spurgeon. Up ahead, Coyle. Nice play by Hayes. 340 to go in the third. Rangers leading 3-2. Rangers led 2-0 into the first. Minnesota with a goal in the second. Tied it early in the third. Rangers regain the lead. On the goal by J.T. Miller. Oh, St. Louis thought he got there in time, but the linesman said no. Icing is whistle. Take a look at the game recap brought to you by your Tri Honda dealers. Dominic Moore got the Rangers going as he broke a 14 game goal drought. Rick Nash with a power play goal, tying his career high with 41. And JT Miller, the go ahead goal here in the third, his 10th of the season. Granlin tied up with Hayes. Commonville was stopped by Boyle. St. Louis got it through to Hayes. Hayes with Haglund. Lead for Haglund. And able to send it deep. Suter. Up ahead. Dumba, the defenseman. Into the corner, Pommetville. That deflected off of Boyle. Granlund for Parisi. And a good job done by Nash on Parisi. Boyle trying to find an opening. Zuccarello. Nice pass to Brassard out of the zone with 2.45 to go. Dumbo with Nash on him. Good job by Nash. Forced the turnover. Zuccarello fell down. Brassard helped out. Back to Brassard. Looking. Zuccarello comes out. Shoots and it's deflected by Dumbo. Kept in by McDonough. Pass Brassard comes around to Girardi. In deep, Brassard. Check there by Suter. Broussard keeps it alive. Gets it to Haglund. Wrap around the save by Dubnik with 2.15 to go. Great shift for the Rangers as they kept the puck deep in the Minnesota zone. You know, Sam, it was all five players, too. It wasn't just McDonough and Girardi hanging back and being defensive. They joined in the forecheck and kept the entire play alive. Broussard was quick on the puck. Zuccarello, same thing. And that's a lot of time off the clock. And the faceoff in the Minnesota end. A game from McDonough. Mark Stahl's been outstanding. Girardi's been Girardi. Moore, Fast, and Haglund on. Haglund in place of Tanner Glass. Boyle and Stahl. Spurgeon away with the puck. Left there for Niederreiter. Shot by Koivu, blocked by Moore. And Moore clears it out just as Dubnik was starting to head for the bench. Two minutes to go. Niederreiter takes it in. Dubnik to the bench. Minnesota's net is empty. Six skaters on. Stewart in deep. Take away by Stahl. Stahl lifts it ahead. It gets out of the zone. Here's a chance for St. Louis was knocked away. vanix has got it. Off the boards for Stewart. Into the Rangers zone. Into 35 to go. McDonough. Up ahead, out of the zone. Blocked in center by Suter. Gave it back to Boyle. Boyle off the boards. Pass St. Louis. And it's an icing on the Ranger. No, it's waved off. No icing. Minute 20 to go. Off the skate of Niederreiter. Stewart couldn't get there. Girardi's clear. Stopped by Niederreiter. In deep. McDonough around the boards. Out and all the way down. This will be an icing unless Nash... He did. Nash negated it. What a hustling play. Wild head the other way. One minute to go. Koivu. Pominville toward the net. Stopped by Lundqvist. Gets it to Girardi. Off the glass. Chipped out by Stepan. Koivu. Down the boards. Pominville. Stopped by McDonough. Out of the zone. 45 seconds to go. The back pass into the Minnesota zone. Dumba. On him is Stepan. Haglund shot it wide, but he played it deep into the Minnesota zone. 30 seconds to go. Ramlin fires to the right side of Pominville. Saved by Lundqvist. The rebound comes to Dumba. Blocked in front by Boyle. Out to Granlin. Fakes. Shot off the pass. Blocked in front. Stahl moves it to the corner. Stahl taken down. Can't clear. Kept it by Granlin. Boyle 
trying to move it. Up the boards. Five seconds to go. In front, save. Lundqvist. Rangers win. Rangers win. They've clinched the division. Another spectacular road win for the Rangers. And once again, Henrik Lundqvist comes through. And in a real, real tough game. Two outstanding teams. The Rangers defeat the Minnesota Wild 3-2. to two. They have 105 points, and they have clinched the Metropolitan Division. Yeah, and with five seconds to go, Charlie Coyle throws it across, and there's Palmonville with a chance for one last shot. The puck got deflected. It bounced right before it got to his stick. That's why he couldn't get everything on the shot. And it goes harmlessly wide to end the game. And the Rangers head off with their 26th road win of the season. That is a franchise record. The Rangers with Ryan McDonough, the local boy, contributing two assists. Hendrik Lundqvist gets the win. Three to the final. We'll be right back.